hot? Huh? You hot? Moisture on my eyelashes. So here's all auto. No stabilization. This is ultra wide. Low light looks good. This is the regular lens, 1X main lens. Looks great. <laughs> this is the 3X, which also looks great. Super crisp in the foreground. Very good for low light for a phone and for such a small aperture. Here's the 10X, which does struggle a little bit in super low light. It has a smaller aperture, but this looks pretty good. Look at the detail on the coat. There's the 3X. 1x ultra wide I got my cat 3x ten x Now we're in super low light. <laughs> Here on a shaky train. This is with stabilization on, which you can only use with wide and ultra wide but it's really good I'm standing here on the train I'm not holding on to anything This is pro mode, which only works with the wide and the ultra wide, but it's pretty cool. You could rack focus manually. There's everything in focus. It has a zebra or whatever. Set the ISO. Set the white balance. Set the shutter. Alright, this is a daytime video test. It's about to be evening soon. Evening starting right now. I'm out in the park. There's so many options on this camera, on these cameras, that I'm not gonna go through every one, but I'm gonna try to go through most of them. I'm using the on-phone mic. 
It's a beautiful snowy day right now. There's the sun that way. It is very smooth. I'm gonna walk here. I'm taking a walk with the three times lens and super steady on. It does overcompensate a little bit there. Like you saw that, gotta turn nice and slow. And it is pretty steady. I'm gonna get a stabilize a gimbal and do another test later with that, but just as far as the phone stabilization goes, here you have it. And it's pretty good. So this is with regular stabilization on. And you can turn that on or off by pressing the settings gear. But super steady is not on. And as you might be able to see, it brings in more light or produces a brighter picture. But it's not quite as steady. It is still pretty good. And you can use all four lenses just with the regular stabilization as opposed to the super steady. Here's the ultra wide with video stabilization, not super steady, just with video stabilization. Here's the main sensor. Here's the three times. Beautiful. And here's the 10X. Pretty good. It's starting to get dark. But it's handling. Now that is really nice. Now what I would recommend is doing... If you're using the 10X lens, don't use any stabilization. Because it really tries to compensate and sometimes it gets really wiggly. Or jittery as you just saw so I'm gonna do a test now with the stabilization totally off so now we got stabilization totally off full HD auto which is what I did in the last two tests this is the ultra wide lens and it's so wide that it's still pretty steady As I said before, here's the main lens. Here's the three times lens. Nope, here's the three times lens. Looks great. Now here's the 10X lens with no stabilization. And I think the 10X lens handles better with no stabilization. You just have to look a little bit documentary style, but there's none of that. With all the stabilization off, there's none of that weird jitter or wiggle to compensate with the stabilizer. Very good. I feel like I'm probably 50 feet away from that from that fence. So this is 8K 24P. You can only use one of the lenses and it's kind of cropped in. So I'm not sure if it's probably the main sensor cropped in. And I have no stabilization on right now. And you can, you can definitely see a strobe, the strobe that you get with 24 frames a second, that film look. But it is mighty crisp. And you can't zoom because it seems to only use one lens with 8K 24P. There's also a bunch of 4K options too. 4K 24P, 4K 60, 4K 30. I'm going to show you 8K 24P with the stabilizer on. Now this is 8K 24P with regular stabilization. So you go into the settings gear and turn on video stabilize. Morning. Turn on video stabilize. And it does stabilize a little bit. I pan and I stop and it stops a little bit after me. Now still can't zoom but it looks pretty good I'm gonna go up to this tree here I know camera conspiracies hates when you test on nature instead of people but such is life that's pretty good looking 
Nice blurry background past that bush at least. Whole background's in focus now because it's not the background. Go back to the tree. Super Steady is not available in 8K 24P. Go figure. That makes total sense. So this is Pro Mode, which comes with regular video stabilization, not Super Steady. Here I am filming a tree again. Camera conspiracies, if he ever hears about me, it's going to kill me. So you can rack focus, you can adjust the manual focus like so. Very nice. You can also adjust the white balance. You can adjust the shutter. You can adjust the ISO. That seems all right. Let's get that tree back in focus. Very nice. And I see an Omni thing for the mic. I'm not sure what it does. Capture sound equally from all directions. Uh, I tap on it, looks like nothing changes because it's just using the on phone mic. But you can't see the levels. There's a level monitor on the bottom left of the screen. Very nice. And what I find really nice is, unlike the Sony, even in Pro Mode, you can just reset back to all the defaults. And it's still kind of auto in Pro Mode. And yeah, pros don't use auto anything. Oh, the pros don't use auto focus, auto ISO, auto anything. Yeah, 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 whatever. It's a phone. I want to whip it out and take street photography and stuff really fast. And this is perfect for it, even better than the Xperia phones, which I think are great, but they don't quite cut it when you need to take a, a quick snapshot. Now, here's another interesting shooting mode called Full, which is wider than the standard 16.9 video. I like it very much. It's cinematic. Here's the ultra wide lens. I have regular video stabilization on. Here's the three times lens. Oh, I love that three times lens, man. And here's the 10 times lens. Which I was disappointed in the 10X lens at nighttime, but it's kind of a new feature. And it's pretty good in daylight, as you can see here. And this is a really great camera, man. I'll be doing more tests soon with an external mic and with a gimbal, hopefully. So far, I'm super satisfied with this camera. Especially this, especially this uh, 3X lens and the main sensor. They're just beautiful. So I probably could have looked this up, but I'm out here to explain some, some trivia about stabilization on this phone, at least on the main sensor. So right now, I have video stabilization on, which is on by default when you turn on the phone. And the way you activate regular video stabilization is you go into the settings gear in your camera, on video mode at least, and you just toggle it on and off in, in the settings. And what regular stabilization is, is a crop in. So it's digital. It crops in a little bit. And gives you some stabilization. Now. What Super Steady is. I believe is optical stabilization. And it does not crop in. So I'm going to keep this phone here. Stop recording and turn on. Super Steady. Which is optical stabilization. And you're going to see that it, it's a wider frame. So now I have Super Steady on, which does result in a darker picture, but this is optical stabilization. Super Steady must be optical because it doesn't crop into the frame at all. 
and it looks like digital and optical digital being in the settings gear and optical being the super steady hand that you can just toggle on and off yellow or white they don't work together you can either have regular digital stabilization which is activated by default or you could have super steady which is optical stabilized which I usually prefer because who wants to lose picture from the sides of their frame in most cases um, and if you want to use optical stabilize in lieu of the regular digital crop in stabilization all you got to do is tap the hand tap the super steady hand and it'll activate the super steady optical stabilization and turn off the default digital stabilization now if you want both of them off you just have to toggle the hand off to toggle off super steady and then go into the settings gear and toggle turn off video stabilization so I'm gonna use the main lens here with no stabilization next this is optical this is super steady it's pretty nice So I'm going to turn off all stabilization next. Right now I have optical and it is pretty smooth. It's pretty nice. I'm about a foot and a half away from this icicle here. But next I'm going to turn off all stabilization. So now I have all stabilization off. And notice here that I have the exact same frame as if I had super steady on telling me that there's no crop when you use super steady which is very nice and there's also one would infer and from what i've seen so far when you use super steady there's no <clears throat> there's none of that digital stabilization wiggle risk there might be a little jitter if you jump too much or run too fast or make a sudden movement or something i'm sure but i, I would prefer super steady over regular stabilization Probably drains the battery a little more because it's a mechanical thing, keeping the lens steady. But this is with all stabilization off. And the main lens is wide enough that you could, you could do a lot of nice video work with no stabilization and get a good image that's not too shaky. So one of the other options I wanted to show you, one of the other camera modes was a 4k 24p and the only way to access that is to get to pro mode and the way to do that is on the right side of the regular video camera you got to tap on more and then tap on pro mode you can get 8k 24p in the regular video camera it's one of the options on the left but the only way to get 4k 24p is to go to pro mode and that's UHD 4K 24 frames a second, not cinema 4K, not 4K DCI, which I would like. I would like it if they had that, but not. I think only two phones have that. Those being, I believe, the one one of the One Pluses and one of the upcoming Sony Xperia's. And I don't think it'd be worth it to get those for that feature in lieu of all the features that the S21 has. Um, I'm gonna tap to focus here on my sweatpants very nice oh i like i like that that's a nice bokeh not too it's not too crazy creamy where you're like what the heck is in the background it's just out of focus nice and tasteful i i think that's perfect tap on the rocking horse again tap on my sweatpants green fans in focus there Tap on my sweatpants. Oh, ultra fast and tack sharp. Tap to focus. Now you can also slide to focus. You can also manual pull pull focus manually. I think I showed that in another clip going over some of the pro mode stuff at a different resolution. I tap on my sweatpants, tap on the fan. Now it's just an autofocus, no tap to focus. Very smart autofocus. I like it.
it's nice to have such a good autofocus that you can use in 24p 4k you know if you want to make a movie on your own or make a film like street video some people out in the city or whatever break dancing or whatever or if you want to shoot a movie so that's it 4k 24p beautiful